Hi, here at Work with Hella, and today we're doing a pretty big installation. We're going to be putting in a bunch of office plants in a, in a, a brand new office building. And this one is actually going into the main entrance area underneath the staircase. Uh, it seems to have pretty low light, so I've chosen some plants that are lower light that can handle that. And right now I'm going to be potting up the biggest of the liners. This is a, I believe it's a 20 inch square liner and I'm putting in this pothos totem with some more pothos around the outside of it. So I've already put the rocks in the bottom, the, the pot is all set up and now I'm just going to add a whole whack of soil to the bottom. I should actually just pull it in. Now this is top quality indoor potting mix. You don't want to use outdoor soil or dirt. You get all kinds of critters with that. It's too heavy, it contacts too easily. So you want to stick to the indoor specially made potting mix. I want to pack that in a bit. It's okay to pack it in when it's dry, not when it's wet. That actually might be okay. So we're taking the pot off of the totem. Oh yeah, it's perfect height. Now this one, you can see all the roots. It's pretty root bound right now. The orange round things are fertilizer pearls. So I do put a leaf in there. You want to loosen up the root ball a bit. Just so it's not such a tight ball just helps the roots to go into the new soil. It's pretty good. It's really tight. Now I want to try and center the root ball in the pot and that way when we rotate it in the office, like as we do our maintenance, we have to rotate them 90 degrees on every visit. And that way they grow properly. So the, not just, not only one side gets the sunshine, you want all sides getting sunshine equally. So it grows in a more even, even way. At least not the soil. It's a compacted bale here. It's really, really tight. So I'm putting in enough soil right now so that it will hold up the totem so I can plant in the other plants around the base of it. Let's see how that did. Again, I'm packing it in. Good level of soil. This size pot takes quite a bit. It is one of the bigger pots in this line of planters. Now this is not the end planter. This is just a liner that goes inside the decorative pot. Okay, so now we're adding the pothos to the bottom. And that's so that when it's on site, it will cover up the soil as well as start to grow down. So this pothos totem, the reason it's called that, is it's a pothos that has been trained to grow up this totem pole. And see, so you can see the little staples in there. It's 
so that's what's holding it. They did that until the roots could grow to adhere to it. So anyway, the point was that the totem is growing upright and I want these smaller ones on the corners to be able to grow to hang down. So I'm gonna put one on each corner. And then maybe one in the middle. Where'd you come from? The other guy will stick him back in. This one's got some nice roots on it, but on the back side, not so good. So I guess half the plant is gonna grow well. Uh, let's see. Yeah, same deal. This one's got good roots. Um, half the plant. Or half the pot anyway. Doesn't mean it's not the whole plant. Nice and full. This is going to be a beautiful addition to their office. Welcoming guests into their front door. Um, and in the back that you can't see. But of course, when it's on the job site, we're going to be rotating it, turning the pot, so that it will be seen. Just not seen by you right now. Put this one right here. And that's the last one. Now I'm just going to add a little bit more soil, just to cover up those that I just put in. Make sure the soil level is proper. Maybe a bit tight. Kind of more by feel now. There's too many leaves. Hear that? I'm complaining about too many leaves. No, never too many leaves. Feels pretty good. Oh, found an empty spot back here. Just gonna throw that in. Need some more in the front here, and then we should be good. A bit of a mess. It's all right. Clean that up. Better to make a mess in the greenhouse than in the client's lobby. plant that we're going to deliver to the client today. I'll see you there. So now we're installing the last of the plants in this office and it's this grouping that's underneath the scooters. So we have um, a south facing window but the blind seems to be down quite a bit so it is a pretty low light area right now and we're going to water these in and then It'll be wonderful, but come, let me show you upstairs. And through these doors, we have three rectangular planters with Santa Varia in them. And the reason for that is that they're putting a sofa um, between the two pillars. So that's to block the back of the sofa and provide a little bit more privacy if someone's sitting there. So let's go take a look. lots of Sansevieria that have been individually potted into these white containers and placed in between the two pillars to provide privacy.
around here we have a philodendron monstera that looks a little small right now, but trust me, it's called a monstera for a reason. And it will get quite large. Again, this is a beautiful window. Um, and the beauty of this one is that it gets these slits in the leaves. It's uh, one of the common names that some people call it a Swiss cheese plant. And the older the plant gets, like the older leaves, will have more holes. So you can see this new one coming. It's going to have a lot of serrated edges and more holes in the leaves. So these, this is a more juvenile leaf, no holes. And the older leaves, see here's a little bit. And then the much older leaf, it's uh, quite a bit more. This has a little bit of physical damage and that's just from it being transported and installed here. Anyway, this could be a beautiful plant. take a look at some more. So in this lunchroom we put a Dracaena lemon lime cane in this window with the neon pothos underneath and that the neon pothos really highlights the edge of this Dracaena, of the Dracaena leaf. You can see how much it just makes it pop and it really goes a long way to brighten up this lunchroom area. And in this office, we put in the, an Eglonema, Chinese evergreen. And over here is a Dracaena marginata. So it's got a bit of a staggered, a few different canes and uh, lots of light here. So these plants will be very happy in the new home. Okay, so we have two Sansevieria in the boardroom. Both are against the pillars, and that's just to soften up the harsh lines and maybe provide a little bit of privacy from people walking by. And also, we have a rapist palm over here. This is a beauty. It's a very slow growing, low light um, specimen plant, and this one will be so happy in its new home. And uh, anyway, I think it's going to be fantastic here. Have a green day.